this kind of love and this kind of diversity together? If you feel that, let me hear you. All right. So brought to you by the Vancouver International Film Festival, a beautiful, beautiful event in our beautiful city. The Grizzly Truth played today, and without further ado, the voice of the Grizzlies. I'm not gonna try to try. I'm gonna use my regular voice. The voice of the Grizzlies, Al Murdoch, everybody. Are you ready to get hyped? Are you ready to get hyped? Hi, this is so cool for me to do. Welcome back for the first time in over 20 years. The original Grizzlies Extreme Dance Team.
University of New Jersey is here. Um, I was, I've been telling the guys, you know, um, on, during uh, my phone calls with them and interviews, like, you guys, you guys don't know how much the city still loves you, the Grizzlies, and still misses you guys. And so, you know, thank you guys for, for showing up. We're selling out our first screening. <laughs> DC for Biff for and for everyone who made this happen for, for building the support for Ordo. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, this is just it's a day to celebrate, honor, remember the Grizzlies. Um, I you know I was telling them you guys like you guys kind of disease and 20 plus years later, look how many people still rock your jerseys. Look how many people play basketball the city. Thank you guys. Um, for the past few weeks, I've been getting to email them, and I've been playing really nice to watch, watch them dance at games as kids, and it's so cool to be able to, like, talk to them. I don't know. I'm just fan girl like, I just feel like a little kid in a candy shop right now. Um, but, um, do you guys want to say a, a few words, uh, Antonio, George, and Tony? Uh, first of all, you guys are the reason why we are back here because we appreciated the love that we got decades ago. Uh, the time that we us three, we were you guys, we talked about it amongst ourselves. You know, it was important for us during the time that we were here because of where we were in our careers. We actually came here and, and got a chance to do good things wearing a Vancouver jersey. And for guys who have been on journeys playing basketball, you appreciate cities that appreciate you. And we know that about you guys. So, again, we want to thank you guys for that. And the, the fandom that you continue to show, guys who play this organization, the ones that know, they really appreciate it. Come on, Yes, it was, uh, I had two, two quick years here uh, in Vancouver. One year I was, uh, well half of one year I was injured, uh, unfortunately, but uh, it was a great experience. And, and like, like Tony said, for us to come back, you know, take time out of our families, uh, you know, we all have teenagers and young adults now, uh, it shows that it meant a lot the time that we were here. You know, we. It, 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 meant, it, it meant a lot. We, we, we share the stories because, you know, like Tony said, each, each one of us when we got here, we were at a, I was at a crossroads. I, I had just left LA and I was trying to decide that I want to continue playing basketball. The love had lost, the, I had lost the love playing in LA. My career, I was playing some games, wouldn't play some games. And, and the day I got traded, I, got, I was a part of the Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant trade to come here with myself and Anthony Bill. And, you know, sometimes you fans say, well, players are spoiled, not appreciative. I was appreciative when I got the opportunity to come here and play. Uh, you know, I didn't look at what the, what the record was. You know, we both, and, and these guys can share with you also, we were, we, were, we were appreciative that we had an opportunity to put on a uniform and, and, and show that the skills that we had and all the hard work we put in in the summers, it actually pays off when we get an opportunity to step on the floor. It wasn't about the checks. You know, we got paid well to play the game. Uh, we, had, we all had long careers. But to be able to step on the floor and hear the fans appreciate you, clap for you, cheer for you, that's what we, and that's why we played the game. That was the appreciation. I really thank you. Appreciate it for coming in the um, For me, it's, it's two dates, right? June 25th, 1995. That's the day I arrived in Vancouver the first time. Getting off my airplane and being greeted by you guys the way I was was fantastic. The other day, November 5th, 1995. First home game. First home victory in the history of the Vancouver Grizzlies. Uh, uh, you know, I joke about it with people, but I'm 
heated. Not everybody can say there's only 12 guys that can say they were on the court that day and a part of that victory. I get to be one of those 12, and nobody can take that away from me. It's fucking fantastic. Thank you, guys. Um, there's there's uh, one more special guest that I'd like to bring onto the court today. Um, for those of you who are in the theater, we got to hear his story for the very first time. If you haven't seen the film, we're playing again October 5th. I, I encourage you to come out. But would everyone please give a very warm thank you for welcome to Steve Francis! <laughs> Hey y'all, uh, first of all, um, I want to apologize for the first time y'all ever seen me with my lip hanging on the ground. There's so many reasons in this movie you'll see why, but uh, once again, Kat just said it, uh, these guys are better and brothers to me. Um, I grew up around both of these guys here, Tony and uh, George, so they kind of knew the way that I grew up. And um, I just want to say thank you guys for understanding. and. Uh, just like Kat said, uh, Vancouver's been a great city. Uh, first time I was ever able to visit it by myself. So I went fishing and ate some good food. And uh, it was great. And I definitely plan on coming back very soon. Thank you guys so much. Get a chance. Check the film out. Please check the film out. Thank you so much. Uh, what, uh, uh, what, uh, can you tell me about the, uh, the movie? What do you guys think of the film? So I'm gonna, this is a self-promotion plug right now, I'm gonna slip in here. Let me tell you guys about this movie that this lady did. You all should be very proud of This is one of the only, this is one of the only, this is a voice that's in for a lot of Vancouver Grizzly fans. If you are a true diehard fan, Vancouver Grizzly fan, you should see this documentary because she speaks to your soul. She speaks about your pain and she answers in the process of trying to find out what happened. She's going to answer a lot of questions. There were things that I didn't know as a player. There were things that I didn't know was moved. So I encourage you all to go in and, and look at it because it chronicles the very beginning, literally up to the very end, and it fills in some things in the middle. So, be very proud of what she has done because she did an excellent job in telling a story that a lot of people have a lot of questions about still to this day. Thank you. It was, it was a team effort. I will say that. Team effort. And you guys, you guys are a part of that. All right, all right. I got something to say. I'm jumping in here for a second. Y'all want to see these guys shoot some hoops? Uh, <laughs> I've seen, I've seen the movies. I know you'll take any opportunity to play that you would. So, can I just say this? That's the one thing I learned in this movie. Kat, not only is she a great movie producer, she's fierce. She's got a jump shot. 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 She's got a jump
Oh! 